Hey everybody, my name is Shella and you're watching to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna walk on the excavator. I bought a quick attachment, so this way we can quick swap all the buckets that I have and also buy new buckets easily which fit the excavator. So I bought this frame, it's a really expensive one, but I really had to go for it to do it good for once and all. And I also got some hooks with it, which I can weld onto my existing buckets at this moment. But now we need to make an adapter, so this frame can go on the excavator. So let's figure out how we are going to do that. Well, plates they fit perfectly, so that's great. That's just perfect how it sits there. I really like it. I got my quick attachment finished for the excavator. Now I need to modify the buckets that I have. So I bought these pieces of steel and now we're gonna have to weld them in. That means I need to cut off the original holes and I need to weld this on. And it's gonna be quite a job because I need to make sure everything is aligned properly. Otherwise it's gonna be one piece of junk. So yeah, I'm gonna have to cut the ears of the bucket and weld these ears on the bucket and that way we should have a solid bucket. Let's get a plasma cutter and start cutting on this. So this, so this has to go on top of the bucket. So I have mounted the mounting points onto the quick attachment. Now let's get it onto the bucket in position and then weld it up so it will be solid and hopefully will last for a long time. That is quite a big job. It might not look like it, but I definitely spent two hours welding on this one. So I just hope it's gonna last. So I also fixed this bucket off camera. As of course, it's just welding and it's not that interesting. It's just interesting to know that I got it fitting. Now we need to get a quick attachment on here as I haven't put it on here yet. And yes, we need new bushings as well in the future, but that's not for today, that's for another day. First I want to mount everything so it's functional. Well, I got it on. It took some hammering because it is the first time and I made it quite tight. I still need to make this a little bit more space here because this is definitely the spot where it doesn't fit at this moment. So if I make this a little bit, so if I give this a little bit an edge, then it will fall into place by itself. And that should really help a lot. So far it looks really nice, so that's good. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. So now we got two 
buckets on exchange and I want to make We even have space left here, so it's absolutely perfect. Fits like a dream. It's also straight, uh, so that was also a thing I was worried about. But it looks really straight, so that's also really good. I did a lot to make it straight, but it's always a gamble if you get it exactly straight. But yeah, seems seems to work perfect. So during the winter, when I painted the frame of the excavator, we also took this plate off to see if it was leaking. And it wasn't leaking back then, but now it's leaking really bad. So I do have to take everything apart and figure out what's wrong. I guess it's the motor, somewhere a seal. So we're gonna open it up and see if we can figure out where it's leaking and eventually get it fixed. I took the complete motor out of the gearbox here. If the machine stands for a month on a spot, it still has two to three liters oil on the ground. So it is pretty bad, but if you drive it, it's not bad. And that's actually because there is a O-ring sealing up this hole here. So the oil goes through the hydraulic motor. And if it leaks out, it goes into the gearbox. And from the gearbox, it comes out through the line that runs here. And this line actually brings it back into the tank of the excavator. Now, the O-ring that was sitting here was leaking. That means all the oil that was coming out of the hydro motor into the gearbox and back into the tank was eventually draining back out through the track onto the ground and it probably even kept on dripping from the tank out. So this really was time to fix this one. It was a hard one because the motor was stuck solidly so I had to make a tool myself to pull it off. So here we got the motor. And I had to make a special tool to hook behind these two bolts here. So that's actually right here. So it's nothing more than a plate with a big hole and a bolt welded on. So the bolt would hook behind that. And then I have my special puller attached to it. So that way I could just pull and that gives me enough strength to pull it off. I didn't think it would work, but it worked out perfectly. And I'm really happy about that, as I gave up on this one before, but now I really needed to fix this one. So our actual issue is this seal and this seal. So both of them need replacement. It's been sitting too long and it got flat. It got extremely flat actually. So, I don't know how it looks on the camera, but it's really flat and that means it doesn't seal anymore. So we're gonna have to replace this one. It's also worn on that spot, so that's why we got this leakage. <coughs> now I see there's another o-ring right there. So it's time to head into town and get two new ones of these ones. So then we can fix the motor and we should have no oil leak anymore. So I got a new O-ring. So we can now install that one and hope it's sealed after that. So let's get it in there. So the motor is now back in place, so now we can bolt everything up and then get it running again and I hope it's leak free now. But since I had a lot of struggle to get it back in, as 
actually required this construction to get it back in. I did put a lot of oil on there everywhere, so it should have slid really easy. It sounded really nice when it went in. So I hope it's gonna be tight now. But we will find out about that. Last year I picked up this gripper from eBay and now I want to give it the quick attachment so it actually goes onto the excavator. So let's see to position this out. So we made this plate, now we need to make the quick attachment on here in the right position so it hitches on quickly and once it hitches on I straight away got a job for it. So let's see if we get this one done. I bought some new hoses for the clamp for the mini excavator. So we're gonna install these right now on the gripper of the excavator. variety which we have had already for 45 years probably but a lot of trees are heavily damaged or just dead they did still produce a lot of plums this year but the problem is that we cannot sell these plums in today's market this variety is not that good anymore the new the new varieties are just so much better that we decided to throw these out we will keep a few trees but a lot is going out so we can plant other new varieties as the new varieties we really like them and we like to continue on them so we are making space so i got the excavator in the field i already had it sitting in the field because somebody needed the trailer so the excavator had to get off and it's a good thing to just do this today Well, I'm having an issue with the quick change of the excavator and it doesn't seem that clear now but if I put a plate on like that it should be pretty clear that this is not supposed to sit there it's supposed to sit there so I did so I've thrown out two trees of the orchard so far and it bent and that is really a shame and that happened while the excavator is within range of this quick exchange so the excavator is three and a half ton this thing is rated up to five tons excavators so 
I really don't get it why it bends this fast, but we have to fix it and get it bent back somehow. That went perfectly, so the excavator is back on the trailer and we're heading home again. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe so you get a notification when the next video comes online. Thank you for watching!